Let's have a look at Spotify and its win title. Right now, it's Spotify free. As simple as that, if you want to get the win title of Spotify, you think you just get Spotify free and that's it. But it's not true. Sorry. It's not true. Because now is the same as the name of this track. First, an artist, space dash space, and then the name of the track. When you're a beginner, that is incredibly annoying. <laughs> because now you think you don't have a way of getting the win title until you learn HK downscore XA. And you can just grab the win title by the app's exe executable and then you start seeing good power in the fact that it changes the name of the window depending on the track that is playing we're gonna make use of that today and i already have let me show you what i have made before for spotify first of all get current song I get the title of the window if it's Spotify free or premium when I can even have that then it says that oh there's no song it returns false for when I use this function in other functions otherwise you get the name of the current song along with the artist and there is one more thing remove art after artist it essentially takes that format of artist dash song and it just give, gives me the artist you can just straight up take this there's no need for the equation mark I completely forgot yeah I actually don't remember what it's called the equals operator the equals sign please tell me in the comments what it's actually called uh, and then i use those two functions in some other ones um, i have a whole repo for tracking music that i discover so here's one function while i'm in here and uh, a song is playing I can click here to run that function, boom, it takes the title of the window, converts it to the artist only, and writes that onto a file. Let's say discovery log, and as you can see, it's now there with the time. Really nice. And there's some more things, for example, once again I'm listening to a song, I really like this artist, I can click here to move that artist into my favorites. Now, artists, here it is with the time in the list of my favorite artists. Somewhat of a long one. Uh, and one more, this is somewhat unrelated. With my runner, which I showed you uh, the previous two videos, I can add a wrapper that I want to discover. Say I really liked how Stacy Trinket performed. I can go Stacy Trinket. And now we go to wrappers. It's added here. This is my list of people that I want to discover. Uh, the reason why I'm showing this is not to just it's is not for you to just take and use that because you might have a completely different process. What I'm showing you this for is to give you a hint at just how useful the window title of Spotify can be. And today we're going to make use of that. Oops, that's from the previous video. We're going to make a tracker that reacts to, to the song currently playing. So this script 
runs indefinitely, let's say, keeps checking the window title of Spotify, and if it has something that we want, it does something. You can extrapolate that idea into something completely ridiculous. We're gonna start simple though. So first we set timer. Um, we just call it funk. <laughs> no, not that. Uh, for the time being, with a period of, it's in milliseconds, I want to check every 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Now let's actually define funk. <laughs> That's hilarious. I have hotkeys for my most used emojis. Didn't expect that to pop out so unexpectedly. Now, what we do? We Spotify. Well, actually, I'll do it without my useful as dependencies to just tell you how it how to do it from the ground up. So Spotify when title will be get when get title. Mm -hmm. HK exe Spotify exe. Boom. We get the title. Now say I want to track an artist specifically. So we'll do the removement of that other part, which is the name of the track. Spotify. Actually, I use a different scheme. Artist. Now we do rejects replace of Spotify win title. Mm -hmm. So the format is once again space dash space. And then everything after it we don't need. So this will work. And that's exactly what we're gonna use. Perfect, now we got the artist. If Spotify artist is so smaller, <laughs> we get an info saying, Sleazy! We can extrapolate on that a bit more, but let's start with this. I'll show you a small little issue it has. Let's for, search for a track from him. Took a long time. Okay, let's run this. And wait. <laughs> I'm showing you my favorite music. <laughs> Whoa! It says sleazy! But let's wait 10 more seconds and see certain... Well, maybe a non-issue. It does so again for the same track. At least my idea was that it said it once and then fucks off. Because mostly you will want to do something once for a track. For example, you can make a logger for the music that you listen to. This timer keeps checking what you're listening to and uh, adds the artist plus the name of the track into some file, writes onto it. But if it checked every 10 seconds, it would be like, what? A lot of the same track again and again. For that reason, what we're, what we're gonna do is uh, stop if it's the same thing. So static last title. By default, it's just false if last title 
is Spotify win title. Mm -hmm. We return, basically meaning we do nothing. But if they are not the same, so the track is now a different one, we make class title be Spotify win title. All right, this fixes this issue. Let's check it out in action. It's gonna say sleazy. Woohoo! All right. Well, let's say sleazy in 10 seconds. It's not supposed to. And it doesn't, although I don't know if 10 seconds have passed, but... I know it won't. I wrote the code. This is just for, for demonstration. I actually do know whether or not it will work. What? Insane. Alright, but this is the idea that you can use to do something actually important rather than saying sleazy, although that is really hilarious. That's funny. If you're in the fandom. <laughs> if you're not, that's just stupid. And I mean, fair enough. Uh, so one idea that I mentioned already is making a logger for the music that you listen to. So you can just go to that file, say it's this, doesn't matter. Say it's this, you can like scroll up. What was the track that I listened on this specific time? Oh, it's this one. Oh, okay. Now you might say that running a timer permanently is kind of ass, and you would be correct. Once every 10 seconds is really not much. Uh, but still, it's kind of unoptimized. For that reason, uh, we'll make it a bit, a bit better. First of all, we don't even know if Spotify is active or exists or whatever else. So we will immediately stop it if it doesn't. All right, that's already better. If I understand how win titles work correctly, you don't need this parameter anymore because win exists set the hidden global variable last window. Or not hidden, I guess. It should be visible by your debugger. So you can debug and check out whether I'm true or false. <laughs> now, you can make the set timer um, react to a hotkey. For example, I have hotkeys for my most used windows, both on my mouse and keyboard. So, I could make it so this timer only starts when I activate when I activate Spotify, and uh, it's destroyed when I'm not on Spotify anymore many ideas to use and it's up to you how to use them yeah this is actually amazing um, there should be a history on Spotify but honestly I don't know where it is if it's even there maybe it's existent per project but not per track and you can use Spotify to implement that. Isn't that great? All right, I hope I got, I got you some ideas, something interesting to do. And I hope that you like this video. Goodbye.